Hey, Steve, what, uh, what do you, this is Mark Canizero from the post. Uh, hope you're doing well. Um, what, what have you been doing? What's this, this virtual period been like for you? And, uh, you know, how, how have you been, how have you, how have you been, how have you been maneuvering it and whatnot? How's it been going? Uh, well, as you know, I opened up a gym this off season. So even though we had to, had to close down, I've been able to still come in every day and still get, get my work in because that's, that's how I am. That's who I am. Um, I love to train. I love to work. Uh, but this, these meetings are, are different for me. The meetings are very, very, very di different for me because I'm not used to being on my phone as much and in a in a classroom uh, setting. I feel like I'm about to get myself in trouble. But uh, yeah, we have to do what we have to do right now. Um, we understand it's a crazy time. But we have to understand also, we still have to keep business going. We have to continue to make that, make the necessary corrections from last year to get better this year. We are, we will be a better team. We are a better team. And the only way we can be become that better team is through hard work, uh, same dedication, continue um, our training, and continue just to learn more about the game. Are you, is the, are you in the gym right now or your, your place? Yes, yes I'm, I'm in here right now. Is it a commercial gym or is it just your gym? Uh, no, this is commercial. It's my business team MVP. Cool. So, so obviously you, you can't be open now to the public, of course. Oh yeah, yes. Well, in Georgia we can. Oh, you are open now. That's right. Every you can do everything yes. in Georgia, right? Right. <laughs> it's pretty much anything goes in Georgia right now. Right. Yeah. Well, right now we have a kids class going on right now. They playing tug of war. Hey, what do you what do you know about uh, your new teammate George Fant, uh, who we're going to talk to today a little bit? Uh, have you have you dealt with him at all? Gone up against him? Obviously not in practice yet here, but uh, that's that's the what, so I, I don't know him by name. I know him by like center guard. Uh, is the one that came from Carolina? No, no, he's this, uh, from Seattle. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't really looked too much into it, man. Um, I'm still trying to learn everybody's name that all, all the guys that we drafted. Um, so I'm still trying to learn them first. Yeah. Um, but how I look at it is whoever's on this, come on his team, willing to help, uh, come on his team with the, the same common goal, the mindset to win a championship. That's all that matters. Hey, Steve, it's Rich here. Uh, you, you seem pretty confident in saying that you think the team will be better this year. Why do you say that? Why do you believe that? Because I believe in my team and I always will. And I'm, I just know the type of work that we will continue to put in. Like, like I've, I've been talking to a lot of the guys. Like, we've been communicating uh, this whole off season, And we've been doing, like, little workouts, you know, at-home workouts, truck pools and stuff like that. Just instead of pushing each other. This is, this is something that's different from the past off season, And we continue to push each other when we're not together. So I can imagine what it's going to be like when we get together. Hey Steve, how do you um, how do you go about building team chemistry when you guys aren't together? Uh, just when you get that time, like right now, the biggest thing is everybody getting on those calls, um, in those meetings, learning, trying to learn as much as possible. Uh, a lot of a lot of my our teammates, my teammates, they are here in Georgia. Um, I'm gonna try to do some stuff here in Georgia for the guys that's here, just to come out, man. Especially like a lot of these young guys, try to get them to come out. And just so I can just meet them, um, to know, know, just know, know more about them. Not only just know more about them, but just, just to try to try to get, especially like the young guys that just been drafted, um, or free agent guys. I want to get them the opportunity to, to, to come in ahead of the game. Um, and like I said, it's a very unique situation for them, and it's a very unique situation for us. But. If we have the opportunity of them coming down, like they already in Georgia, I'm going to have them come out and be like, hey, man, y'all come check the gym out. Um, y'all come, just come and check check everything out. Man, this is how, then I can teach them how the game goes, help them slow the game down. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot to learn. And like I said, it's a tough situation. But I'm open to it. We're willing to it. And I, like I said, I, I just think we're we only going up from here. Eve, hey Steve, you guys drafted Makai Becton in the first round. He's six seven, like three sixty something. 
Do you know anything right. about him? Or have you ever gone against a player that big before, a tackle? Uh, who? Max Starks. Mm -hmm. Max Starks is probably – he was one of my teammates in Pittsburgh. Max Starks was probably the largest human being that I had ever met in my life. <laughs> he was like seven foot, uh, 380 with almost – it looked like he had abs. But very smart, intelligent guy. Played for a long time. I have a great deal of respect for Max Stark, uh, Super Bowl champ. So I think the largest person I ever went against was one of my teammates. Steve? Steve? Yes. Um, who are some of the guys that you're going to work out with in Georgia? Some of your older teammates, some of your newer teammates? Who are some of those guys? Uh, it's going it, to I mean, I'm, I don't really like to just name names, but it, the ones – I'm trying to get all the numbers of guys that, that are here. Uh, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Uh, but I do have one in particular. That's Jordan Jenkins. He's, he's, he lives in Georgia. So, I, I have – we've been in contact, talking. Steve, what about Quinn and Williams? Uh, the, the first – Full off season would have been this one for him. Obviously, an important one to get bigger and stronger and improve. How tough is this on Quinn and Williams to not have a off season program in Florham Park entering his second year? It, it, it's, so, like I said, that's, it's always a tough situation. But me and Quinn have been communicating, and I told him I was like, "Listen, man, whenever you get that opportunity, because I know I think he's still in New York, uh, and I understand how things are in New York." I was like, "Man, we once you get that opportunity." You get an opportunity, you will get a chance. Just don't, just don't not do anything. So I just tell him a few things. I don't want to tell you what we talk about, but I told him a few things that he can do, that he can continue to do to get better. Um, he will have that opportunity uh, soon, hopefully soon, that they can come, they can come down, or they can just get back into a facility. Like I said, I, I don't know. I, I heard in New York that hey, ain't anybody really go anywhere right now. Um, so I, I just want everybody, right, really to be safe. That's the biggest thing, being safe. Uh, but when we get that opportunity to get together, and I'm, I'm going to continue to pour more, as much knowledge as possible on it. And not only that, I'm going to try to help him get uh, bigger and stronger. Steve, what do you think is, has allowed you to, you know, be so enduring here and, and, and last here with the Jets through some regimes? And, and you know, what, what is it about you, you think, that's, that's allowed you to do that? Just dedicated to the game, man. Just being able to – every day, this, I live by a code, and my code is a focus-driven life, man. I talk about it every single year. Um, I, I continue to live by that. Um, focus-driven life is an acronym, and that's one of the biggest things that's in our gym right now. Um, if you focus on your driven, your driven become your life. And and I, that's how I look at it. I to continue to have that same type of focus absolutely every single day. Um, I wake up every morning, like, like Shep texts me one morning, it was like, the gym is always open. He texts me at 5 a.m. And I was like, man, it was already open. It's always open because I was at 4 a.m. So, like, for me, I have a different mindset each year to continue to get better, to continue to grow, uh, to continue to learn, to continue to just to be a better version of myself, um, to help this team just head in the continue to head in the right direction. If somebody had asked you, you know, earlier, you know, on your career, your first or second year, that you'd still be doing what you're doing now, would it surprise you at all? As if you're your 23-year-old self, so to speak? Uh, somebody told me this 10 years ago. I, I, I believed in me. I always believed in me. Um, I, I, knew, I knew how many years that I wanted to play in the league, and I'm there. So, and that's one of the biggest blessings. Are you on bonus so, yes. time now? What, 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 was, what was your original number? <laughs> I don't want to tell you because I don't want nobody to feel like I put limitations on myself. But just know I'm there. Hey, Steve, speaking of players with longevity, uh, what would you think of getting Frank Gore? Man, it's awesome, man. I heard he's uh, – so I met some coaches that, that was with him in uh, Miami. He's a, he's a workhorse. And he's going to bring that a new value to the team. Uh, with, with, with his work ethic, uh, with his knowledge of the game, man, he can help a lot. He can help the team a lot. Steve, you, uh, you've competed with Tom Brady for a long time, both when you were in Pittsburgh and then here with the Jets. What does him leaving the division mean? Does, does it open things up in this division more than it has been in a while? 
I feel like it's always been over, man, because we all put on our pads the exact same way. We wake up the exact same. Um, man, I'm, I'm, I try not to lose focus on us. That's what it's all about. The focus is still on us. So I'm not really thinking about Tom Brady. He has a team that he has to work together and put together, make sure they are ready to go. Um, and we have to do the exact same. So I don't really look at it as, as that. I feel like if we have that same opportunity absolutely every single year, um, they just sometimes they have won more than we did. But we, like I said, it's a new year. It's a new time. Anything else for Steve? Hey, Steve. Well, Steve. One more now. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, uh, Steve, uh, how's Le'Veon Bell doing? What's his mindset like this offseason entering his second year with the Jets? And is he participating in the offseason program? Uh, was it like I don't, the only thing we can really see right now is our video call with our team, with our, with our, with our, uh, our group. So I don't, I don't really know about that, but I know he's, I know he's training. That I know. Anything else for Steve? Great, thanks, Steve. Thank you.